Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark channel friends as you know that we have recently started our Trellix file and removal media protection series which means FRP and in which we are going lots of things we are going to learn but before we start the very first thing we'll have to keep in mind is architecture or let's say workflow that how exactly this product works because if the workflow or you know the how exactly the product behaves you if you don't know correctly then there is a chances that you may you know uh, face the difficulties while implementation or configuration of the FRP so very much that is what we are going to understand in this video after this small intro so guys uh, very first as you can see on the picture we have to understand what is exactly the EPO administrator role in FRP so basically EPO administrator configures FRP uh, in it like uh, policies, keys as well as you know he configures the queries and report so that you will be able to use your FRP product seamlessly without any issue and as you know we can move to the next picture that is Trellis EPO on-prem because as you know that we are discussing on-premise solutions only so in second uh, picture what uh, you EPO administrator will have to do so basically he needs to check in the FRP extensions and package because without these two things like yeah, extension and package you will not be able to configure or implement FRP in your environment so that is also we are going to cover how exactly uh, you can download your softwares and check it into the EPO there are multiple ways so I'll show you which is the best one and in this third picture so what exactly FRP does so we are uh, when the FRP is you know checked into the EPO and deployed on the end user machine then we have to configure the keys okay as well as policies so that the key which is assigned to any of the end user only that particular person can access the data once it's encrypted and no other person will be able to identify those data because for other users it will be encrypted irrespective of whether they are logging you know the user has shared the file with them or they are trying to remotely access by you know backslash backslash that computer pc name and if the data is encrypted the other person will not be able to open those document because all through it's encrypted and under the fourth uh, you know the snapshot like endpoint user so once they know uh, that particular user is correctly uh, authenticated with our uh, telex frp then only those you know keys start functioning which whether it uh, has to be encrypted data or decrypted data all things will be done when the authentication is successfully happened so as we saw earlier that so all in drive encryption series basically only encrypt the hard disk or you can say platter but it's not touching the data but in FRP your actual data is getting encrypted and you have the uh, capabilities to use both the software at same time and in next video i'll be showing you how exactly you can download and install frp packages as well as extension and later on we'll see how exactly you can configure those so there's a lots of things i'm going to teach you in the frp series so stay tuned and if you are watching my video for the very first time then please consider subscribing and enable the bell icon so that whenever I'll upload a new video you will be getting notified automatically over email as well as in your YouTube application. So don't miss the things and grow your career with me. So that's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next amazing video. Till then bye bye.